What's up? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Here, Southern California, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. I'm Christopher Asher, No Excuses Coach. Make sure I got the angle right here, good. So, out walking and talking. Look at that, I'm, I'm cooking. I'm walking today, it's good. Having a good day walking so far. Some days are the pain is pretty decent and some days the pain is pretty bad, but hey, it's a beautiful day. Brenda's with us. Good morning, Brenda. So great to see you. I remember our 6.30 chats before, having uh, coffee and whatnot, catching up, seeing how you're doing, what's going on. Thank you for being here. So uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are at. Uh, just sending this message to those of you who need to hear this, whether it's live or on the replay. Uh, it's a message that I need to send myself, so that's why I do these things, is because I've been doing the walk it talks now for years and years. You can go check out on my YouTube video. Got hours and hours of walk and talks. It was just my way of thinking about things that I needed to work on and then saying, you know what? If I need to work on it, then there's probably some other people that need to work on it too. So uh, yeah, what's going on? Adam Duval, good to see you. Good to see you, thank you very much. I'm gonna be full admitted. I'm having more and more problems seeing my phone without my glasses on, so sometimes I can't see the, the comments, but I appreciate you guys for being here. And I always go back and check on them. So it's Monday here, Southern California. It's a beautiful day. I'll get my walk in, listen to some Dennis Waitley, Psychology of Success, the second edition, growing my brain. And I already got up this morning. And if you guys have been following me for any length of time, when I wake up, the first thing I do before I open my eyes is I say what I'm grateful for. What am I grateful for? So I go through that. A lot of it's the same in the morning, but I also say new things that I'm grateful for, just to find the beauty in everything. There's so much stuff going on in the world right now. A lot of people are hurting, a lot of people are struggling all over the world, you know? And for me, the second action that I take before I get out of bed is I set my intentions. I set my intentions for what the day is gonna be, and I did that specifically today. Some days I'm not exactly great at it. Oh, I intend to do this, but today I just took a few extra moments and said, what are my intentions for today? Good morning. Um, and that's something we can all do. So it's Monday, wherever you're at, ask yourself this question. Hey, what's up, Heath? Good to see you, man. Uh, ask yourself this question. What is my intention for the week? What are my intentions for the week? Just spell those out. Even if it's right after this video, during this video, whatever it is, list out like five intentions that you set out for this week. My intention for me is always to be present and playful with my son. That's usually the first one. My intention is to be present and playful with my son. Usually one of my second or third ones is my intention is to be in the moment, not in the results, not in the outcomes. My intention is to be in the moment because this is all we got. And I can easily go down rabbit holes. I can easily pontificate. I can easily do all that shit that causes us to, to deter our attention from what really matters most. And those are the moments. Whether with your kids, whether in traffic listening to a book, whether it's with your coworkers or your clients. When you're in those moments and you stitch those moments together and you make the intention that when you're in those moments that you're gonna capitalize on the greatness that's within you and within others, just think about how that all stitches together to make a really super kick-ass life. Think about that. What's up, Margaret? Good to see you. She says, get organized. Heath says, what's up, brother? Yeah, what is your intention? What is your intention for the week? So many of us get off and we think we know where it is where we're going. We think we know what it is what we're doing. We think we know what it is we're focused on. But what happens? What happens? Life. Life gets in the fucking way. Little things pop up. Oh, I didn't expect that. Oh my God, that derailed my concentration. Oh, what am I gonna do now? So if you set the intention that no matter whatever comes up that you're going to get back to business once that, once that uh, interruption goes past, then guess what? You're gonna stay grounded. You're gonna sit there and say, okay, here's an obstacle that I did not intend on having to deal with, yet I'm gonna be stay intentive, intentional, fuck, I was looking over here, uh, intentional, in my actions and my results, so I stick to my plan. My intention this week was to stay productive and positive. Am I being productive and positive right now? No, okay, what do I need to do to get myself back to that? Good morning. Good morning. What do I need to do to get myself back to being present and intentional? There's a lot of things that can detract our attention. Um, if you're miserable and saddened by the news. If you're sitting there watching a whole shitload of news um, and you don't wanna be sad and you don't wanna be bummed out, then why are you doing it? 
And so here's a question that I'm gonna give to you guys, because you guys, I know I love questions. So when you're in those moments where you're kind of, you feel like you've gotten off track, just ask yourself this question. What am I creating right now? What am I creating? Am I creating something that's positive and exciting and an opportunity for me to continue to challenge myself to think differently? Or what am I creating? Am I creating negativity? Am I creating a vicious cycle of thoughts that's not gonna be productive, that's not gonna be intentional for me to get the outcomes that I want? Oh, what are my outcomes? Think about that. What is your legacy? What is your legacy? What is it that you are here to do? What is it you are here to teach? What is it here you are here to learn and set that intention every day that you're gonna go through those processes and grow through them because you're gonna become stronger. Now, so many of us, myself included, I've done this times, I, I will admit, oftentimes we run to our short-term gratifications because we don't wanna deal with things. We feel overwhelmed, we feel like we're tired, there's too much. Oh, I just need a break. And so what do we do? We escape from our life to go have that mini break. Good morning. We go to escape from our life to have that mini break, and then what would you do? We go back and it's still there. We're still there. Oh, I, I used to think about this. Oh, I need a vacation, I need a vacation, I need a vacation. We spend two years of our life saving up money to go away for a week or two to escape our life, to come back, to find that it's still there. So what intention are you setting? Are you set the, setting the intention to create a life that you don't have to run away from? Do you set the intention to make challenging decisions and get through them? Or do you set the intention every day like, yeah, I know I've got some pretty big decisions to make, but I'm gonna avoid them. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid them, and then I'm gonna hope, wish, and pray that someday they're gonna change. Yeah, that's my intention. My intention is to get old and then regret the shit that I didn't do when I was able to do it. That's my intention. My intention is to waste my life. Do you set that intention? I sure should hope not. But sometimes we fall into those rabbit holes, we fall into those traps, we fall into the complacency and the mediocrity of life instead of like, getting people around us who are gonna be bigger and brighter and more challenging that are gonna actually ask us questions like, hey Chris, are you really on your path? Or are you kind of deviating from that right now? It seems like over the last couple of weeks you've been deviating, you should probably get back on path. Speaking of path, I gotta turn around. So what is it for you? What is your intention? Is your intention just to get through? Is your intention just to get by? Is your intention just to make it? Or is your intention to thrive? Is your intention to go out there and teach other people the shit you've gone through to make sure to help them get up and, and make their life a little bit better? My intention every single day is to make the world a better place for who I am and what I do. My intention every day is to fight for what's right and what's fair and to risk for which that mattered and to leave the earth a better place for who I am and what I do. Every single day, that's my intention. Whether I'm awesome at it or whether I'm okay at it, as long as I wake up with that intention and I do shit like this and I do my shows and I coach people and I create programs and I speak at places and I mentor kids and I raise my son, I'm setting the intention to make the world a better place for who I am and what I do. So that no matter when I go, somebody will say, you know what, Chris did it. The last thing he did was this. And we never know what our last thing is going to be. You know, there's been a lot of uncertainty. There's been a lot of tragedy uh, in my life and in the lives of people around me lately, lately. And so, you know what the most important factor of life is? To live it while you're alive. Right now I'm breathing without any chest tubes. Right now I'm out walking, it's a beautiful day. Do I have a little bit of pain? Is there a little bit of things going on? Yeah, but I'm not in a hospital connected to tubes. I'm not breathing on oxygen. I'm not hoping, wishing, and praying that I took better care of myself that I could, so I could get through more challenging times with my body. That's why I go out and walk. That's why I eat well. That's why I exercise when it hurts. That's why I keep my mind and my body focused on positivity and strength and courage and confidence and resiliency. Because I know there's going to be days that are going to challenge me. It's a fact of life. We never reach a panacea where everything's easier. Hopefully, you've done right by your life and you create a little bit of financial prosperity so that the financial part of your life isn't as stressful. But at the same time, what is it you're creating? Are you creating wealth to leave behind? Or are you creating a moment to spend with your family? Are you creating a moment to spend with your client? Are you creating a moment to spend with yourself? Are you focused and intentional with living your life? Or are you focused and intentional on, or maybe, maybe not even focused and intentional, maybe you're blind to the fact that you're living somebody else's life, right? When you think about the top five regrets of the dying, the number one regret is that they lived the life they thought they should live instead of the life they wanted to live. So think about that. Think about that. I have, we'll call him a friend, 
Um, his parents are now in a, an assisted living facility. I personally think they're way too young to be in an assisted living facility, but unfortunately they didn't take care of themselves. They thought they were just gonna be invincible forever. And the thought of them being in that place breaks my heart because I can only imagine the thoughts and the regrets that they might be having about now not being in their home, not having their possessions, having to have their kids go through all their stuff and sell it all and have to make those tough decisions. To put your family through that, is that your intention? Is that your intention to leave a bunch of shit behind for everybody else to deal with? Is that your intention? I hope not. I really hope not. Uh, let's see what we got. Denise in the house. What's up, Denise? Thank you very much. She says, amen. Um, I love you guys. I really do. If there's anything that you have going on, please, please listen. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a medical professional, but I have been through a lot of stuff. I have heard a lot of stuff and I have helped a lot of people transition out of that mindset to become truly unstoppable, to reframe their perspectives, to say, Hey, listen, this might suck, but I'm fucking tough and I'm going to get through it. And guess what? When I get through it, I'm going to help some other people because we all have an opportunity to help one another. No matter where we're from, no matter what color our skin is, no matter who we voted for, no matter if we're vaccinated or not, no matter if we're tall, short, gay, straight, transgender, we all have an opportunity to help each other. These are all packages. This body is all package. This is a meat suit. Underneath this meat suit is a soul. Is a soul of a being who is interconnected to you, is interconnected to everybody else. Again, no matter what the packaging is, we're all the same. I smile at everybody. I wave at everybody. I actually make it an extra point that if somebody is of a different nationality, that I smile a little bit brighter because I am a white male who tends to look a little rough and mean and whatever. So I make an extra effort so that people don't have that misunderstanding of, oh, is he going to hurt me or what's his problem? You know, he probably hates Mexicans. I smile bigger. I say, hi, hello, how are you? Because I want people to feel as though we're interconnected. I want people to feel as though they're not alone. That's why I do these. I'm not doing this for money. Yeah, I get coaching clients out of this sometimes, but I'm doing this because this is my legacy. This is from the heart. My podcast is called Raw and Unscripted for a reason. My other show is called The Unfiltered Experience for a reason. Because we gotta drop the bullshit guard. We gotta drop the bullshit bravado. We gotta drop the fact that we think we're gonna do it all by ourselves. Again, hoping, wishing, and praying. But I gotta tell you, man, life goes by fast. Life goes by fast. And some days even I wonder if I'm pushing myself enough. And some days I wonder if I'm trying hard enough. Because some days I know that it's all happening. It's all happening for me. So I don't fight it. I don't try and push myself as hard because I know it's happening. I'm trusting in the universe that it's happening. But at the same time, I'm taking my responsibility, my action to, again, set those intentions to ask myself that question. What is it I'm creating? What am I creating? What am I creating for my family? What am I creating for my legacy? What am I creating to be left behind? I'm already starting to think about stuff like that. I'm like, geez, I don't want to leave all this crap behind. I don't want, I just went through a bunch of pictures because my friend killed himself and I had to find pictures. And I looked at all these pictures and I'm like, same thing, thinking about when my mom died. She left me all these pictures of people I have no idea who they are. And now there's nobody here to say, oh, that's your great aunt or that's your, I have no idea who these people are. And as I was looking through these pictures, I'm like, I'm 52 years old. Do I really want my son and my wife to have to go, oh yeah, there's a bunch of crazy pictures of Chris. So it's time for us to recenter ourselves, to reground ourselves, to take this opportunity in life and ask ourselves, what are the most important facets of my legacy? And then get up every day, set that intention. And during the day, ask yourself, what am I creating? Or one of my other favorite questions is, um, is this getting me closer to or further from my stated goal? Is this getting me closer to or further from my stated goal? If you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to lose weight, going through an intersection. Hello, please don't kill me. Uh, if you're trying to lose weight and you're eating bonbons, ask yourself that question. Is this getting me closer to or further from my stated goal? If it's getting you further from your stated goal, put the fucking things in the trash and walk away. 
Oh, but Chris, it's hard. Well, then eat it and have regrets of being a diabetic later and lose your fucking foot and your eyesight. That's your choice. I'm just being straight up. You know why I'm being straight up? Because I know people. I know people who thought they were invincible. And then they got a little bit older. They took things for a little bit more granted. And now they're type one insulin dependent diabetic. And they're like, oh shit. Yeah, oh shit. My job in life, my responsibility, my intention is to make sure you don't go, oh shit. I want you to go, hey Chris, you caused me from going, oh shit and taking proactive action on something that I've been ignoring. What is it that you're ignoring, ladies and gentlemen? What is it? What is it? My legs start hurt. What is it you're ignoring? What is it that I can help you with? I mean this from the bottom of my heart. It's not a sales thing. If you need coaching, if you need something, reach out to me. I don't want people to feel like they're alone. If you want coaching, you wanna get working with me, I'm gonna be doing my group coaching program here in about next month or so, uh, picking a date making it affordable. It's something I'm just doing as a gift over the Christmas holidays, over the holidays to get people started on their 2022 goals. Can you believe it? 2022, uh, get people started on their 2022 goals and give back to the, to give back to the world. I want to do that. So if that is something that you're interested, please DM me. Uh, I want to get you on that list. I don't want to take too many people. I want it to be intimate. I want it to be impactful. So aside from that, uh, I just want to thank each and every one of you for the private messages, for the public messages regarding my friend who committed suicide. Um, I've got another friend. Her husband just recently passed away. Uh, I know another friend. Her husband just passed away uh, in his sleep. I got two other friends that got diagnosed with cancer. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world. There's a lot, and there's a lot we can do for each other. So please go out there and be the change that you want to see. Go out there and lift other people's spirits up. Go out there and if you have a little extra money, go out there and make a donation. You guys know I'm the board of directors for Help Heal Humanity. HelpHealHumanity.org. Go check it out. If you guys know anything about Help Heal Humanity and Serena Buffalino, we've got massive efforts in Haiti right now to help them. And not only that, you saw what happened, what's happening if you watch the news, which I really don't, but I found out about it. All the Haitians down at the Texan border. Breaks my heart, breaks my heart. They spent all this money, they sacrificed everything to leave Haiti. They've been living in Cuba. They've been living in other places. They made a 4,500 mile trek. 4,500 miles from what I understand to get to the Texas border to seek asylum in the United States. And they just got put on planes and sent back to the country they escaped 15 years ago with nothing, with nothing. And I realize that's Haiti and that's, those are Haitians and those are their choices and everything. But can you imagine living in a country where you have zero and you sit there and you say you make the, you're going to make the sacrifice and the pilgrimage to spend the next 15, 20 years, whatever, trying to get to the promised land, get your kids there and you get back and all of a sudden you have to go back to where you came from and there's less there than there was where you were. There's so much going on in the world. We're all collectively one. I love you guys. Whatever it is that you could do, whatever it is I could do for you. Again, uh, tune in to my shows. I got the Raw and Scripted show tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Always just put it on your calendar. It's going to be a solo show. If you have ideas or topics or things you're struggling with, please send me a private message. I would love to do a show, maybe answer some questions, provide it into you guys, feed into you guys, uh, because we're one and the same. And I just love you guys. We're Misfits for Life. Hit me up, whatever it is I could do. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll go back and check out the comments in a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm going to finish my walk and then go spend time with my family, take my wife to the airport. And my intention is to have a kick-ass productive week. And I love each and every one of you guys. All right, so stay kick-ass, stay classy. We'll see you on the next Walk and Talk. I'm Christopher Roush. Go to www.christopherroush.com. If you haven't been there in a while, I have a brand new website, all sorts of cool bells and whistles there. Uh, and I love each and every one of you. So go out there and be intentional. All right. Christopher Rash. No excuses. Out. Peace.